Russia lost at least 100 aircraft during the war in Ukraine, according to information provided by British intelligence. According to intelligence data, the Tu-22M3 strategic missile carrier bomber that crashed in Russia's Stavropol territory on Friday was downed by Ukrainian S-200 missile despite the Russian Defense Ministry statement that the Tu-22M3 crashed due to technical malfunction and after completing a combat mission. The plane crashed in a deserted area. The main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry claimed responsibility for the crash of Tu-22M3, a source within the Ukrainian army told RBC Ukraine. This is the first strategic aircraft that Ukraine managed to destroy during a flight, the source said. He added that after the crash of the Tu-22M3 bomber, another plane flying behind it turned around. According to the Crimean Wind Telegram channel, the plane was shot down after its attack on Odessa region. The plane pulled to the airfield in Mozdok, but crashed in the Stavropol territory, the source noted. Fighter Bomber Telegram Channel associated with the Russian Aerospace Forces reported that the bomber's engine caught fire for an unknown reason. Meanwhile, Christopher Cavalli, commander of the U.S. European Command and NATO's Supreme Allied Commander Europe said that Russia has lost about 10% of its military aircraft since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Cavalli did not name the exact number of aircraft lost by Russia, saying only that these were several aircraft. According to the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Russia has lost 347 aircraft and another 325 helicopters since February 24, 2022. According to British intelligence, Russian A-50 reconnaissance aircraft was also hit by S-200 missile over the Sea of Azov. On the night of April 20, there was a drone attack on the Smolensk region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that Ukrainian drones attacked the fuel energy complex. ASA result, an explosion and fire occurred at the Centerneft product oil base belonging to the Luke Oil Company. The number of victims is not reported. AT night there was also a drone attack on energy facilities in Kaluga, Bryansk, and Belgorod regions. Electricity has been cut off in some areas. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, a total of 50 drones attacked the territory of the country. И вот это не весело, прям пиздец. Нефтика немножко похуже горит, а вот лукойл, блядь, горит оху... Блядь. Прям кто-то у... Нехило, блядь. Уже 8 взрывов. Смотри, что происходит у нас тут. A blast at an Iraqi military base came from an airstrike from an unknown source, two security sources have told Reuters news agency. At least three people were wounded after five explosions rocked a military base belonging to an Iran-backed militia in Iraq, a local security official told CNN. A U.S. official said it wasn't caused by American military operations, the base is used by Iraq's Popular Mobilization Forces, an umbrella group of dozens of armed groups, and is home to its chief of staff. In a statement, Hashd al Shabi said an explosion had inflicted material losses and casualties, without specifying the number of wounded, the group did not confirm any deaths in its initial statement, adding, an explosion occurred at the headquarters of the Popular Mobilization Forces at the Kalso military base in the Al-Mashra district on the highway, north of Babel Governorate. 
An investigation team immediately arrived at the scene, and the explosion caused material losses and injuries. We will provide you with the details once the preliminary investigation is completed. Responding to questions from AFP, the security sources would not identify who was responsible or say whether it had been a drone strike, the explosion hit equipment, weapons and vehicles, said the ministry source, there was no immediate claim of responsibility. Factions within the Popular Mobilization Forces took part in rocket and drone attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq in the early months of Israel's Gaza offensive however, the group stopped the attacks in early February, the blast comes as a time of high tension in the Middle East, as Israel wages war against Hamas in Gaza, after the, the Iran-backed Palestinian militant group launched a deadly incursion into southern Israel in October. Tit-for-tat strikes this month have also brought a decades-long shadow war between Israel and Iran out in the open.